Hello folks and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video. Yes, the YouTube channel that uses mine and Richard's combined expertise in making bows and arrows 50 plus years combined expertise and professional bow making to try and help you guys at home with your bow and arrow making. We also do some silly stuff along the way and the odd vlog and that's what we're doing today and in fact it's also a box opening. We've got another box there from our friends at Boning. No idea what's in it. At the end of the video I'll open that up and have a look. So yes, this is just my chance to vlog and one of the things that caught my interest this week while I've been having some time off, a couple of days, three or four days off, yeah, those of you who are self-employed will understand that finding time to have time off is time consuming but anyway I managed it and one of the things I managed to do was catch up with the news now I don't know whether you use the uh, Google News app or in fact any aggregated news app that's on the interweb you will find like most things they see what you look at most and they start pushing you that sort of stuff towards you so if you accidentally click on who's going to be an I'm a celebrity this year uh, that's all the news you then get from then on um, now one of the things that keeps cropping up in mind I've realized about this algorithm so I deliberately click on really stupid articles usually from smaller newspapers or smaller news outlets um, sort of parochial stuff that's just a bit weird and these are a few of some of the things that I've uh, that I found. I rather like this one. Uh, shop caught sticking googly eyes on fish to make them look, look fresh in Kuwait. I mean, yeah. And this other one, I like this one. It just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. I'll, I'll put them up here. Why becoming a granddad changed Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen's mind about selling his Gloucestershire home? What does that mean? I mean, who cares? Hilarious. And this one. I <laughs> love this one. Woman shocked to discover £99 Argos wedding ring isn't actually 18 karat gold. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. But my favourite one of all, and uh, I'll read you this one out. It's a bit long. But bear with me, but I think you'll find it funny. Right, this is from Bristol Live, whatever that is. Uh, and th this is the headline. CCTV catches woman doing a poo on couple's driveway in middle of day. And then in quotes. They did not know whether to laugh, cry or be angry. The neighbours were walking past us and I didn't want them to think it was us. <laughs> Two students have been left in shock after finding human faeces on their driveway and the culprit caught on CCTV. The special CCTV system students Hannah Lawton, 21, and Harris Stoddell, 20, have installed at their home near Bristol, sends them an email whenever a sensor is triggered by movement. <laughs> and this morning, the images it sent caused a stink, to say the least. <laughs> For they showed a woman acting suspiciously in their driveway. Upon investigation, they found a human poo, <laughs> which explained what the woman had been doing in their driveway in the St. Paul's area of Cheltenham. This is not exactly something you would want to see on your driveway first thing on a sunny Sunday morning, especially if you live in a road called Normal Terrace. <laughs> Hannah told Gloucestershire Live that she woke earlier than usual today as she had an inkling something was not quite right, and she was not wrong. How do you have an inkling that someone's having a shit <laughs> in your front garden? Oh, oh, I woke up early this morning. I just knew, I just knew, I, I, I'm like Mystic Meg. I just knew someone was doing a dump in the front garden. <laughs> and it goes on. The, couple to, <laughs> the couple's property that they rent has CCTV with a sensor that triggers the camera to re record footage when anyone approaches the house. When the postman arrives, the CCTV kicks in and an email is sent to the tenants. And they could not believe the delivery they got this morning. <laughs> they saw... <laughs> I'll put the picture up. They saw a woman acting suspiciously on the drive of their property and they were left with a nasty and rather smelly surprise when they went to investigate a huge poo. <laughs> Hannah said, 
when me and my boyfriend got up, we looked at the CCTV footage and thought, who is this woman and what is she doing? The woman took a look at the front door as if she was looking to get in the back or garden or something. Then she went round the back for a couple of minutes. We went outside to see what she may have been up to, and when we opened the door, the smell hit us. <laughs> because they found a disgusting present in front of Harris's motorbike. She added, I mean, the flies were on it. There are loads of them. The other thing is the size of it. It was huge. They must have been keeping that in for days. <laughs> Keeping it in for days. <laughs> Saving it up. <laughs> oh, my God. Hannah said that as much as it is a disgusting thing to happen at any time, you could almost understand it happening more if it was in the middle of the night <laughs> and a drunk person doing this sort of thing. She said she can't believe it all happened at 8.20 a.m. and whoever did it had brought toilet paper with them. <laughs> <laughs> it was so gross. I had to supervise my boyfriend getting rid of it, and he put it in the composter, but you could hear him gagging, she said. <laughs> I love that she had to supervise him <laughs> with the massive poo. <laughs> uh, but there was no... <laughs> I will put the picture up, okay? I warn you, it is actually of the poo and the toilet paper. But they have pixelated, not me, I haven't pixelated it. They have pixelated the poo. Have a turn away now if you don't want to see it. I'm going to put it on the screen. But there was no way that I could bring myself to do it. And we did not have any other way of disposing of it either. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a subtitle police have a job to investigate it <laughs> the police <inf> have <laughs> the police have been informed as hannah is worried someone came to her property hannah said i did not know whether to laugh cry or be angry the neighbors were walking past us and i did what did not want them to think it was us <laughs> the police have been called and the officers said they have never had this sort of thing happen before and it was a first for them <laughs> and this seems dreadfully unnecessary but okay if anyone has any information regarding this incident please call Gloucestershire Police on 101 quoting incident number 124 that's 124 <laughs> Hello, is that Gloucestershire Police? Uh, yeah, I've uh, I've lost one of my massive poos. I've seen an article on Gloucestershire Live that you found one. I was wondering if I could come and get it, please. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh God. Anyway, yeah, I, uh, sure you uh, enjoyed that as uh, as much as I did. Anyway, so we'll. Uh, <laughs> We'll open up the package that I received, which hopefully isn't a box of poo. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's, uh, that's brilliant. Right. <sighs> oh dear. Right, we get the knife out and uh, just prove I haven't haven't opened it. Okay, boo hooning. Okay. Let's see what we got. <sighs> hey, I've learned from previous ones. You've got to check, check the thing. So we have got some premium points made from 303 stainless metal steel to industry leading tolerances. Wow, look at those sexy, sexy. Well, you want me? To, oh, I'll open them. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take it out of the plastic thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, check that one out. Probably not going to zoom in, is it? Because it's too small. Hold on. Let's try that. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Wow. Ooh, I'm dropping them. What's that one? Is that going to zoom in? Oh, yeah, there we are. Hey, look at that. They're rather nice, actually. I like those. And there's a big one. 
Gonna, oh yeah, there we are. Wow. Cool. What else have we got in here? Ow, 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 ow. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, no, you shouldn't, shouldn't really ever do this sort of thing in the nude. I'm not actually in the nude. I just... Anyway, I dropped them down there and they went down me, um, down my pants. Uh, and we've got some wax. Some textite bowstring wax and seal tight bowstring wax. Don't know what the difference is. Uh, that's those there. Yeah. Is that going to zoom in? Uh, no, no. Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh. Pretty exciting. Uh, I don't know what the difference is between those. Hold on. Uh, classic waxes with added value. New applicator made from recycled material. Now it contains 40 grams of wax for the same price. That's a 67% increase. Uh, slide the ends down for easy bowstring application. Okay. I'm not sure what the difference is. Uh, bowstring wax, silicon based. Ah, that's okay. So the seal type, that's for synthetic bowstrings. The other one's for natural and synthetic bowstrings. Aha, I see. Okay. All right. I'll get the hang of this camera one day. Where's. Ah, oh, there we are. So they are, they are slightly different. One's in, in synthetic and one's for the other. Cool. Oh, there we are. More interesting stuff as usual. Um, yeah. So that's enough whittling. Whittering? Whittering. I've got to do some whittling. Uh, yeah, I'm making a u bow and a couple of triple laminates so I've got, I've got to get on and uh, undo those so anyway yeah i thought you'd like to hear that i couldn't resist uh, telling the uh, the poo story and no i didn't make that up at all it is genuinely on there you can go and have a look at it on i think it was gloucestershire live uh yeah i didn't make it up and wow anyway so yeah if you want to see some more videos or if this has completely put you off uh, then uh, i do apologize uh, for talking poo um for a few minutes Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Don't forget, hit the subscribe thing, and, and, and watch some other videos, and um, yeah, see you around.